For decades spaceflight meant building magnificent machines, towering rockets assembled with painstaking precision, representing the pinnacle of human engineering and ambition. Yet, after a single fiery journey, these marvels would be discarded. Falling into the ocean or burning up in the atmosphere, their purpose served in mere minutes. Then SpaceX dared to ask a radical question. What if a rocket could land itself, be refurbished, and fly again? Could the impossible become routine? The Falcon 9 made that science fiction a reality, stunning the world as it touched down gently on a floating drone ship for the very first time. Now, the sight of a Falcon 9 booster descending for a pinpoint landing is almost routine, yet every touchdown is a breathtaking display of precision and control, a moment that never truly loses its sense of wonder. Each landing is a ballet of physics and engineering, with grid fins and thrusters working in perfect harmony, guided by teams of engineers tracking every variable in real time. These repeated landings are proof of relentless pursuit of reusability, a vision that has turned skepticism into awe and failure into progress. This innovation has transformed rockets from disposable commodities into reusable assets, much like airplanes, enabling rapid turnaround, lower costs, and a new mindset for space travel. The economic and operational revolution is so profound that regulators like the FAA are scrambling to keep up, rewriting rules and adapting to a pace of launches never before imagined. SpaceX's rapid-fire launch and recovery system is pushing the boundaries of what anyone thought possible, launching and landing rockets with a frequency that is reshaping the entire industry. The Falcon 9 is no longer an experiment, it's a proven high-frequency workhorse, redefining access to space and inspiring a new generation of engineers and dreamers. This is the dawn of a new era, spaceflight as a frequent, sustainable, and accessible endeavor, where the sky is no longer the limit, but just the beginning. The Falcon 9's reusability has upended the economics of space. This revolutionary approach has fundamentally changed how we think about space travel and exploration. In the old days, discarding the most expensive part of the rocket after every flight made launches astronomically costly. Each mission required a brand new rocket, leading to immense financial and material waste. SpaceX's ability to recover and reuse boosters slashes costs, spreading manufacturing expenses across many missions. This innovation means that the same hardware can be used multiple times, significantly reducing the cost per launch. Some boosters have flown over a dozen times, driving the cost per flight down and making SpaceX a dominant global player. The reusability factor has allowed SpaceX to offer more competitive pricing, attracting a wide range of customers. Lower prices attract more customers, fueling a virtuous cycle of higher launch rates and even lower costs. This cycle not only benefits SpaceX but also the entire space industry by making space more accessible. Rapid refurbishment means SpaceX can launch nearly every three days from a single pad, unthinkable a decade ago. This frequency of launches is unprecedented and showcases the efficiency of their operations. This operational tempo is what's astonishing regulators and competitors alike. The ability to launch so frequently has set a new standard in the industry, pushing others to innovate and keep up. Reusability democratizes space, enabling universities, small companies, and developing nations to launch satellites. This opens up opportunities for scientific research, commercial ventures, and educational projects that were previously out of reach. It's not just about saving money, it's about opening the final frontier to new ideas and participants. The impact of reusability extends beyond economics, fostering innovation and collaboration on a global scale. The Falcon 9 has turned space from an exclusive club into a bustling domain of opportunity. This transformation is paving the way for a new era of space exploration and utilization, where the sky is no longer the limit. The FAA's decision to raise Falcon 9's annual launch limit from 50 to 120 is a watershed moment. This isn't just a policy tweak, it's a recognition that SpaceX's reusable system has changed the game. The agency had to adapt or risk becoming a bottleneck, as SpaceX's launch rate outpaced old regulations. Now, Cape Canaveral is set to become one of the world's busiest spaceports, with a launch every 73 hours. This high tempo is vital for deploying Starlink and fulfilling SpaceX's ambitious manifest. The FAA's streamlined approval, after reviewing thousands of public comments, signals a new era of regulatory agility. America's space regulators are learning to move at the speed of innovation. More launches mean more landings. 
and SpaceX needs new infrastructure to keep up. The FAA has approved a new landing pad, LZX, right next to SLC-40, streamlining operations and reducing turnaround time. LZX will handle up to 34 booster returns per year, cutting logistics and speeding up refurbishment. This shift is part of a broader strategy. Commercial launch providers are now expected to handle their own landings, freeing up military resources. SpaceX is phasing out older landing zones, focusing on integrated, efficient operations. Construction of LZX is already underway, marking reusable rockets as a permanent fixture of spaceport life. Landing pads are becoming as essential as runways, signaling the true arrival of sustainable, frequent spaceflight. Doubling rocket launches from a sensitive coastal ecosystem demands careful stewardship. The FAA's approval came with strict environmental safeguards, protecting species like the eastern indigo snake and nesting sea turtles. SpaceX must minimize off-road driving and manage lighting to avoid disrupting wildlife, with regular monitoring in partnership with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Over 4,000 public comments shaped the process, ensuring community concerns were addressed. Regulators issued a mitigated finding of no significant impact, trusting that safeguards will prevent harm. This collaborative approach balances rapid progress with environmental responsibility. The Falcon 9 expansion is a model for how technology, commerce, and conservation can coexist. As rocket launches become an almost daily occurrence on Florida's space coast, the way the public perceives these events is more important than ever before. The region, once known for its quiet beaches and small towns, now finds itself at the center of a new space age where the excitement of exploration meets the realities of everyday life. For many residents and visitors, the thunderous roar of a Falcon 9 rocket and the unmistakable triple sonic boom of a returning booster are sources of immense pride and wonder. These sounds symbolize human achievement and the thrill of witnessing history in the making, drawing crowds from across the country to experience the spectacle firsthand. However, as the frequency of launches increases, what was once a rare and exciting event can start to feel like a disruption. The novelty may fade, replaced by concerns over noise, vibrations, and especially nighttime launches that light up the sky and rattle windows while many are trying to sleep. The FAA's recent review process captured a wide range of emotions from the community, balancing the excitement of progress with the very real concerns of those living closest to the launch pads. Public hearings and town halls have become important forums for residents to voice their hopes and frustrations. Managing these impacts is crucial for maintaining public support, especially as even larger rockets like Starship loom on the horizon, promising even more powerful launches and potentially greater disruptions if not carefully managed. That's why transparent communication and genuine community engagement are absolutely essential. Companies and agencies must listen to concerns, provide clear information, and work together with residents to find solutions that benefit everyone. The relationship between the spaceport and its neighbors is truly symbiotic, offering jobs, economic growth, and technological innovation in exchange for the community's support, patience, and understanding as the industry continues to evolve. Ultimately, keeping the Sonic Boom Symphony a celebrated soundtrack, one that inspires awe rather than annoyance, will be key to ensuring a bright and sustainable future for space exploration on the space coast. SpaceX's landing zones have evolved alongside the Falcon 9 program. The original pads, landing zones 1 and 2, proved reusability was possible, but rapid growth demanded greater efficiency. The Space Force now encourages companies to build landing facilities within their own launch sites, freeing up military resources. Moving boosters from distant pads took time and effort. The new LZX, adjacent to SLC-40, slashes turnaround time. Co-locating launch and landing is a model of industrial efficiency, supporting rapid, repeatable missions. Phasing out the old pads marks a graduation. LZX is built for relentless routine performance. The final landing at LZ-1 closed a historic chapter. Now, integrated infrastructure paves the way for an even more ambitious future. The reusability revolution is now standard industrial-scale operation. As the FAA approves record launches, the Falcon 9 is reaching its peak and preparing for its finale. The next two years will see the highest launch cadence ever, as Falcon 9 fulfills commercial, government, and Starlink missions while Starship ramps up. It remains the only American rocket certified to carry NASA astronauts, 
and its reliability is crucial during this transition. The increased launch rate is about meeting near-term obligations, maximizing revenue, and funding Starship's development. Falcon 9 is now a master of its craft, with a streamlined process and unmatched reliability. Its grand finale will set records unlikely to be broken by any rocket of its class. The legacy Falcon 9 made reusability real and paved the way for the next era of exploration. Looming over Falcon 9's achievements is its successor Starship. Starship is a fully reusable system designed to carry over 100 tons or 100 people to orbit and beyond. Its scale dwarfs Falcon 9 and its regulatory and environmental challenges are equally massive. Starship's launches will require full environmental impact statements, with potential for unprecedented disruptions and risks. Industry leaders warn of the challenges but the promise is transformative, making humanity a multi-planetary species. Starship aims to lower costs by another order of magnitude, enabling Moon and Mars missions. Falcon 9 proved rockets could be reused. Starship will try to build a true spacefaring civilization. The Falcon 9's peak is the end of the beginning. The Starship era is about to begin.